Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of this studio, my name is Adam. Once again, we're back with a very highly requested episode. This is going to be a review of the Zero Gravity Percussion Mars series. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Artifact Percussion, Zero Gravity Percussion, Rob Utomo, Will Flinner, Mallet Lab, and Bradley Crowley. Thank you so much for joining the Studio VIP team. And today's featured studio artist is Patrick Gelvin. Thank you so much for your continued support. And if you'd like to become a studio artist or studio VIP, you can go to patreon.com forward slash M10, or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. I'm really glad to see you. I hope you've been well. And once again, we're reviewing yet another hyped mallet series, one that's been requested on this show for ages. But before I get stuck into this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to my friends at Mallet Lab because I'm going to be joining them from the 11th to the 16th of June in Palm Beach, Florida. So I've never been to Palm Beach before. I'm super excited. So as a result, there will not be a studio episode on this channel during the week of Mallet Lab week. But of course, if you want to see what happens during that week, I'm going to be uploading vlogs from there on my vlog channel over here and of course you can also check out Mallet Lab's YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash Mallet Lab. But enough about Mallet Lab, let's talk about the main business at hand for today's episode which is of course Zero Gravity Percussion. So Zero Gravity Percussion, if you haven't heard of Zero Gravity, they're a company based in Denton, Texas and they make all their mallets from scratch and basically I first heard of this company 12 months ago when they sent me the Jupiter series, which was their first mallet series. Now, when I uploaded the Jupiter review, as well as the Jupiter vlog of me unboxing the package, everyone was saying, wow, these mallets are so cheap, but so good. Like I thought these mallets were a really, really good value proposition because they were only $25 at the time. So I used to use the Jupiters a lot myself. In fact, I used them in the Marimba Dreams recital last year, and a lot of you guys have been using them as well. So they were selling quite crazy. And then we heard about the Mars series, which is a brand new mallet series from Zero Gravity Percussion. Now, of course, if all of this is new to you, Zero Gravity Percussion is a company that makes mallets based on planetary themes. So we have Jupiter for the gaseous planet, and because it's a big planet, the sound is more airy. Whereas the Mars series is based on the Mars planet, which is like a rocky planet. And as a result, it's more of a clear, punchy sort of sound. And this carries on to the design of the mallets, which mimic the planet's colors with the yarn. And it's a really eye-catching design. So I can see why they've been so successful. So of course I have to give a huge thank you once again to Zero Gravity Percussion for sending me not only the entire Mars series but also some claves which are called the Zero Gravity Percussion Asteroid. So maybe that's a nod to like a future product that they're going to release but yeah that's quite clever. Asteroid claves. They also sent me a bunch of wooden discs with like different zero gravity percussion logos. I really appreciate the little gift. Thank you so much. And can I just say I really appreciate the box and the packaging that it came in. Like look at this box. It's just really really nice. When do you ever receive mallets in a branded box that is the same brand as the mallet company with like a nice sticker on it that's also the same brand as the mallet company. It's like attention to small details like this that really make the whole experience very pleasing. So big ups for that. But before I continue with the video, of course, this video is not sponsored. Just because the mallets were sent to me, just because Zero Gravity Percussion is a studio VIP, like all of that is irrelevant because I want to give you my honest opinion on these mallets because I like doing that. So yeah. So first off, let's talk about the model lineup. So the Mars series, which is designed to be an articulate mallet series with some warmth, has five models and they're very, very easy to remember because they are just numbers. So it's of course the Mars 5, which is a soft, followed by the Mars 4, which is a medium soft, followed by the Mars 3, which is a medium, followed by the Mars 2, which is a medium hard, and finally a Mars 1, which is hard. Very easy to remember. And for the first time ever, Zero Gravity Percussion is offering mallets in both birch and rattan. So you can get these in the way you like them, which is really cool. I also like that the mallets are all the same design. They're all uniform and stealthy. So as a result, no one can tell what hardness you're using. You guys know that I personally prefer my mallets to all look the same regardless of the hardness because I just think it looks a bit cleaner. But of course, just as you might expect with Zero Gravity Percussion, the most important thing that we want to talk about is the price. 
and the price of these mallets is 32 US dollars. In addition, Zero Gravity Percussion also offers a graduated mallet set, which is four different harnesses for 64 US dollars. So when you think about that, it's a lot cheaper than buying four pairs because four pairs will be $128. You're paying 64 US dollars to have an even coverage. So I think that's a pretty good deal as well. Is it the cheapest mallet in the world? Obviously not. There's a lot of Maruma mallets out there that start from as low as $20 to 25 US dollars, but they tend to be more basic or they tend to be more for beginners. So as an intermediate to advanced level sort of mallet series for a more serious percussionist, it's a pretty good price. Now let's move on to the build quality and design. You already know what I'm gonna say for these mallets. It is of course, that head. Woo! The head design is so eye-catching, like it looks like a fireball on a stick. It is so cool. I know that it's meant to mimic Mars and they've done a really good job at that. It's just something completely unique, like how they use different hues, but similar sort of tones on one head. Like a lot of the time you'll get a lot of single block mallets or maybe you'll get one color with some white lines on it. But this is just very, very special. And what I neglected to mention on the previous video for the Jupiters, which a lot of you guys roasted me for, the top of each mallet has a few lines stitched into it that tell you what the hardness is straight away. So if you see five lines, that means it's hardness number five. And if you see one line, it's hardness number one. And in this one, it's a black marking. And it just looks so cool. And it's so great when you're putting the mallets inside like your stick bag, whether it's like a galaxy stick bag or something, and they're all sitting vertically. You can just look at the top and it tells you straight away which one's which. It's great. The yarn is made of merino wool and nylon, and then the core is made of mixed material. So you're getting this sort of blended feel, and as a result, you get a warmer sound combined with that slightly diamond-shaped design. It's not as diamondy as some mallet series that I've reviewed before. Of course, the mallets do pass the studio squeeze test. They're extremely robust. Like, they don't feel like they're going to wear out anytime soon. My old Jupiters, which I played a fair bit, had a very even wear pattern on them. These ones are still quite new. They're basically dead stock, so they're not as worn in just yet. So I can't tell you what they sound like when they wear in. Would I bash these mallets and call them beaters? Probably not because I'd be too scared of ruining the color. I think it looks so cool. But I think they will last long enough for most people. Now, if we move down to the 16 inch bird shaft, you'll notice many things that zero gravity percussion has improved greatly over the last batch of Jupiters I received. Firstly, that engraving. Look at how clean it is. It is so clean and subtle, yet it tells you instantly what the mallet series is and instantly what the hardness is. So you've got the zero gravity percussion logo in this nice, thin orator sort of text and next to it you have the male symbol which is of course the Mars symbol instead of the word Mars and next to that you have the Roman numeral for five or four or three or two or one or whatever the hardness is just looks like a very premium product and you guys remember last year I had a little bit of a complaint about the Jupiter mallets because the batch that I received had the stickers which were just these like printed stickers from like a Dymo label printer and then they had like another sticker so much so that I actually removed one of the stickers and put on my own tape because I thought it looked a little bit too cheap. But I'm so glad that they got rid of those Dymo stickers and now they have this really clean laser engraving. It looks so good. The shaft itself also feels slightly smoother than my previous generation of Jupiters. And if you go down to the bottom of the shaft, once again, it's another case of smooth ends make friends. I mean, I've used mallets on this show that are 50 US dollars and above that don't have smooth ends, that don't have engraving, that don't have like a really nice finish to the birch shaft, that don't have like a really solid head. Like I really like that they're offering such a good quality product at a reasonable price for people like us who are on a budget. Okay, so next up is ergonomics. Now last year I said the Jupiter mallets were slightly heavy and they felt a little bit dense. They weren't super heavy, but they definitely were not 50-50, so they were like slightly below. And these mallets are kind of the same. They're not 50-50, but they're honestly not that heavy. Like even though this is being marketed as a powerful, strong, you know, hard hitting mallet, it is not like one of those big bazongas that goes up. Like, no, it's not one of those. <laughs> Instead, it's one of those mallets that definitely feels very easy to control, especially if you're a beginner to four mallet grip, but even for more advanced players who want something that has the depth and the warmth, but isn't like a tank, this would fulfill your requirements quite well. I found this especially to be true when I was trying to use them for corral style rolls in the sound test that you'll hear later on. Like compared to some of my heavier mallets that I use for real like thick corral sounds, 
these were very, very easy to use. I also like that these mounts are extremely balanced. Like they are so balanced. I'm holding the five and the one in my right hand right now. So the two opposites of the spectrum and they feel just as maneuverable as each other, honestly. So as a result, graduating mallets with this series is going to be very, very easy. I don't think you'll have a problem with it. If you're looking for a mallet series that is not light, that is not 50-50, and that is not like a tank heavy, just like slightly weighted, this one could be the one for you. And finally, we get to the sound test. Now in today's sound test, I used a very popular tune from very recent music charts. I'm sure you're gonna recognize it straight away. And if you're enjoying this video right now, please give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Here's the sound test.
Alright, what did you think of the mallets? Let me know in the comments below. Did you think they were hard, soft, warm, bright? Let me know, I would love to hear from you. I'm gonna be honest here, when I first reviewed the Jupiters last year, and I had the soft mallets, I thought the soft mallets were quite good, but the sound wasn't quite refined for me personally. Like, I thought there was a little bit of contact sound. I thought it was a little bit woofy, almost too woofy. Like, it didn't sound very practical. So as a result, I could only use the Jupiter for pieces where I wanted almost no clarity, like chorales or like really soft music. And it wasn't as versatile as I'd like. Whereas the Mars mallets, feel like they've fulfilled all my requirements quite okay. You can get a nice soft chorale going with the softer mallets, you can get some really fast Japanese style solos with the hard mallets, and you can get pretty much everything else in between by mixing these together. It's quite impressive honestly, especially when you consider they're quite easy to control and they are very affordable for $32 a pair. So. If there is something I can say about these mallets, it's the price. Remember last year when I reviewed the Jupiters, I reviewed them for 25 US dollars a pair. And now, they are 32 US dollars a pair. Now if I had to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't have paid anything more than 25 US dollars for the Jupiters. But the Mars, I would happily pay up to 50 US dollars for these because I think they are definitely a much more refined product than the Jupiters last year. So. Yeah. So will I give the Mars series by Zero Gravity Percussion a studio seal of approval? Yeah, why not? Once again, thank you so much to Zero Gravity Percussion for sending me these mallets. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate your support. And once again, if you have anything that you'd like to see on the show, or if anything you'd like to say about this video, or any of my other videos, make sure you leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads. We are almost, almost, almost at 10,000 subscribers. That is a lot of subscribers. Thank you so much for all the support once again. I cannot believe this channel has come this far. I'm really grateful once again. Thank you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's episode and I will see you guys very, very soon for the next episode of The Studio. Good night. Yeah.